All right, guys, really quick, I just want to do a quick unboxing video of the, uh, what is this? Yeah, so this product is from Monstrum. Got it on Amazon for a decent price. This supposedly fits the Mossberg 88. Clearly says Mossberg 500 and 590 on there. Uh, let's go ahead and open it up. All right, let's see what's in here. Instructions. Uh, nothing else in the box. Let's go ahead and look at the actual product. I love the packaging in it. It feels, this is, this has a good bit of weight to it. Doesn't feel cheap. All right, now let's put it on. Let's go ahead and use some of these tools. Oh, I did start unwinding this by hand. Let's go ahead and do this correctly. Quick little check right here. Completely empty. This is gonna go on in here. Now it is a very snug fit right here, so I already know I'm gonna scratch the shit out of the gun. All right, so this is gonna be a simple install. So from what I understand is that we're gonna go ahead and remove two things. We're gonna remove that one screw in there. I'm just gonna go ahead and be as careful as I can. I don't wanna mess this up, so. Okay, next, let's go ahead and remove that one screw that we were mentioning earlier. Now, here we go. One of the reasons I'm sharing this specific hobby with you guys a little bit more than anything else um, is honestly the algorithm. It looks like YouTube loves guns. So thank you for all of you who have liked and subscribed all of my hands or arm videos. Those are actually the ones that kind of got me on the map or got me on the algorithm. So you're going to be seeing a little bit more of um, guns, fun, and food. Guns, fun, and food, yeah. I was actually talking to my dad about it. I was like, hey, how about I start a YouTube channel? I'll call it Vida de Bino. So you guys look out for a new channel coming out sometime soon. Supposedly, this is the part that everybody's dreading because it scrapes the gun. And yeah, I could totally see it scraping the gun. But, ooh, it does scrape the gun. Just a tad bit. What is what what does Jim Carrey say? <laughs> like a glove. So this goes in right here. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Really hope so. So I came with that little tube. We're gonna go ahead and align this right here. Yeah, this does scratch up the gun a lot. Man, I keep saying it a lot, but damn, unfortunately this is gonna scratch up your gun, guys. If this is something you do plan on doing to your uh, shotgun, just understand that the gun is gonna get scratched up. Uh, but then again, I don't expect people to baby their guns. I mean, it's like a really nice car. Are you really gonna park it for the rest of its life? I mean, enjoy it, you know? That's what these things are for. Get some practice in and, and like actually have fun with it. Uh, now let's go ahead and install this one right here. We are replacing the short snubby flathead screw with the provided hardware. It's uh, substantially longer. Let's just double check this bad boy right here. Cool. Now flip the gun over. And check right here. Make sure it's coming out good. Let's see if I am lucky enough to have the correct size for this. This is the uh, final product, guys. It looks it looks really nice, in my opinion. I think it's gonna age well with the firearm. Make sure everything works. Yeah, nothing seems to. That screw that we uh, replaced, it's right there. This makes the shotgun look very, uh, very tactical. It's pretty cool. Now let's put some shells in there and see what's up. So I think the proper way to stuff these is like this way. Winchester Super X, if you guys are watching, send me ammo. I'd love to shoot it for you guys. 
there we have it. We have the uh, we have the new Monstrum Picatinny Rail shotgun shell carrier. Um, this looks pretty badass. I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna age. I know it's gonna age well. This looks pretty cool. The quality of the material, it feels, it has a good weight to it, so you know it's not cheap. It is that type of finish that will most likely get scratched up pretty easily. But at the end of the day, guys, you don't buy a firearm to just have it on display. And if you do, well, you know, that's cool too. But me personally, I like to shoot my guns. I like to have fun with them. I like to practice with them. This fits 12 gauge shells. I went ahead and threw some Winchester slugs in there. Now I will make a follow up video after I shoot a couple of rounds through this thing. There is no problems with the actual action, the screw back here. I don't know if you guys can see it inside there. It, everything is flowing perfectly. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and show you guys nothing. All right, no jams, no nothing. Let's go ahead and take it back out. Nothing guys, so this is pretty cool. It fits 12 gauge slugs right here. Well, it fits 12 gauge shells, so uh, so far, I'm pretty happy with the product. Let's go ahead and shoot a couple of rounds through it and see how the mounting itself holds up. I am, later on down the line, gonna add an accessory on top of here. Out of the Mossberg that we just did the attachment to, we're gonna be, yeah, we're shooting some of this stuff. And some of this stuff. attachment is holding on very well the slugs aren't or the shotgun shells aren't really going anywhere that was my main concern last but not least for shooting the boom land the shot yeah. the attachment is working flawlessly none of the the only times the shells actually come out is because I'm holding it incorrectly but over time should be able to Get the hang of holding it. All right, so the attachment is holding up very well. I need you guys to see it. So this concludes the uh, shooting of the Monstrum Picatinny Rail shotgun shell attachment. Uh, nothing is jamming. It's, the action is working very well. The actual attachment itself is nice and tight. So that concludes the shooting portion of the video. All right guys, so this concludes the little video I made installing the Monstrum Mountain Shell Carrier for the Mossberg 88. The box says 500 and 590, and uh, amazingly this fits the Mossberg 88 uh, very appropriately. It fits nice and snug, nothing gets in the way. There's been a lot of other people that say that this specific piece gets stuck somewhere right here. That's not the case with this firearm. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoy more videos like this, and I'll see you on the next one.